labor alone. See if you can connect to your baby. So she's hired a doula to give her some professional support. So did the baby say I'm ready to come out? <laughs> Four days after her due date and Fiona has been having mild contractions for the last few hours. Luckily Michael was working near home and managed to make it to the hospital. Kiki soaked a flannel with aromatic clary sage oil to help relax the uterus. This is good. Nice to I'm just trying to keep the atmosphere low or kind of not too much chatting and joking. I mean, I think she's doing really well with the breathing and she seems to be comfortable. I just think she needs to be able to relax into it now, and, which she will do anyway when it really gets intense. What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know. What you <laughs> want to get off your legs, don't you? Yeah. Fiona wants to avoid using drugs for pain relief, but she's in a lot of discomfort. Kiki thinks a different position may help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll just go back to where I was. Can you help me? Oops, I'm sorry. Oops, I'm sorry. She just stayed where I was, didn't I, really? <laughs> Take your time. Baby will come. I'll soon have a better time. Michael thinks Fiona should try the gas and air. I'm managing all right without it, so I'll just carry on the time being, if that's okay. You sure? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just not a personal battle, though. It's the only thing to No, no, if I need it, I'll have it. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Michael's doing really well. I think he's a bit tired and a bit excited, definitely. Um, and, um, yeah, I think he's being a good support. She does want him there to rub, rub her back and be there next to her. So I'm just trying to encourage that because he might feel that I am there so I can do it. And I don't want him to feel like that. After an encouraging start, Fiona's contractions have slowed. She's only five centimetres dilated. The midwife makes sure the baby's heartbeat is okay. <laughs> the breaking water sometimes speeds it up, so uh, but it can get very, very intense. Yeah, it can get painful. <laughs> yeah. I say by quarter to nine is when the next due to be re-examined. So I suggest no, if we hadn't no. had it by then, then it's probably a good time. Mm. But if you got to the stage that you felt you wanted it done earlier, then yeah. we can do that. It's, it's what you need. It's a bit of a dilemma because you want the baby to come out, but I don't want anyone, any mum to feel pressure like it has to be done quickly because it doesn't matter if the baby's born in, you know, whenever the baby's born. But after eight hours of labour, Fiona wants to get things moving. So she's decided to have her waters broken. Kiki supports her through this painful process. Oh, that's it. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. What's the worst of it done? Mm. Oh! Breaking Fiona's waters has an immediate effect. She's now eight centimeters dilated. She's using gas and air, but with Kiki and Michael's support, hasn't needed any other pain relief. After nine hours of labour, baby is nearly here. There's another one. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just... Uh, there's another one. That's oh, all right, Phil. OK, then. You're doing really well. You're doing really well. Oh! OK, Jensen does it. Jensen, the baby's going to come. Just, no. 
Oh, she is. Don't be dirty. I said. Don't be dirty. Oh. 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 You want to right, see what it is, Fiona? Here you come. Here comes the baby. Baby born at 8.55. But is it a boy or a girl? It's a little girl. Oh, it's a little girl. Fiona wanted to wait until the umbilical cord stopped pulsating before it was cut. Michael does the honours. Oh, that's it. Oh, is that it? All the way through. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Michael. Right. Are we ready? Yeah. Shall we move? you. Hey? You called him all day. Whilst the proud dad holds his new daughter, Kiki comforts Fiona as the placenta is delivered. Ten minutes after she was born, Mum can finally cuddle her baby girl. Hiya! She's gorgeous. Look at your <laughs> Kiki's delighted with how it's all gone. Now, from a doula's point of view, it's gone really, really well because Fiona had what she wanted, hopefully. You know, she was able to move around, she wasn't monitored, she did have waters broken to speed things up, which was a decision she thought about before she said, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Um, and I was able to just support her with just being there and breathing with her and just telling her she was doing really well. Michael was convinced he was going to have a boy, so there's been a quick rethink about names. Um, the, the baby's actually called Rio for the after Rio Ferdinand from Man United for the whole of the term of the pregnancy, and now it's a girl. It's like, oh, okay. Well, what else are we going to call it? But uh, it was, yeah, it's going to be called Kayla for as a girl. Kayla is a healthy nine pounds, and Fiona's had the natural labour she prayed for. Um, I was quite happy that it's all over. Um, it's gone very well. We've got our little bundle, so. I'm very happy. Yeah, I'll just uh, reiterate that from over the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kiki's paying Fiona and Kayla a visit to check all is well. Hello! Hello. How are you? I love it to see you. Hello, Kayla. Oh, it's cold out here. How you been? Fine, come on, come thank on. Thank you. I've got some flowers for thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, they're lovely. That's a card and a little impressive there. Oh, thank you. I'll just put them there for now. Thank you very much. So how you been? Yeah, fine. It's been going really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think it all went? I really, I think the labour went really well. Yeah. A really positive experience and um, I'm really glad it went the way it did. Yeah. Very yeah. happy with it. Do you know that she came out with her arm first? Well, I didn't know. I was no, told after. Yeah, I think, I think it was yourself that told me afterwards. Yeah, she came out like a little super girl. Super girl, yeah. With yeah. her arm up. You were so good. Yeah, it was great. It was, you know, obviously it was a bit painful, but... Well, you were coping so well, you know, <laughs> yeah. with your breathing and you stayed really Yeah, I was focused. trying to really concentrate. And, and then when you were ready to push, it was just kind of, no oh, the warning. baby's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's ever so happy. Such a happy baby. Manage? Kiki wants to show Fiona how massaging Kayla will be good for baby and mother. The touch is important, just the touch. And also you get quite close. It's a bonding thing. Bonding yeah. yeah. Very nice. I mean, even, I mean, that's one. Oh, yeah, I know she's just eating them, but if you've ever got a bit of tummy ache, it's a good one to do where you just put, you just go in a circle, like, massage, that, that's it. And it just helps with the digestion. Hiya, how's work? 
Hi. 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 So how do you think it all went, Michael? I think it's very good. Did you feel like I was in the way, or did you feel? No, not at all. I think uh, obviously I, the reaction of Fiona I, it reflected back to me, and I think yeah. she was actually she found you absolutely godsend to be honest. Right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> With the family coping well, Kiki decides to leave them to it. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so again. much for yeah. everything that you've no, done. No, that's all right. But, uh, it's thank great. You for and I'll definitely there. send you photographs. Yes, you must do. We'll, we'll keep, keep in, in touch. In, yeah, I'll give you a ring in a yeah. few months and see how you're getting on. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. Oh, well, thank, thank you so much. See you Take later. care. Bye. The new parents think Kiki made all the difference to their birth experience. It was great having a doula there. I think it made, it made me interact more. I was watching someone else do stuff. Think to myself, well, maybe I should be doing more, more getting more into it. played more of an active part yeah, yeah, this time so. around. So. So. It was a real pleasure actually to be with Fiona and Michael when they had Kayla because she was really kind of set in her mind, she knew what she wanted to do. I felt you got more of a positive experience from it as well. Yeah, so, and I definitely did because I felt a lot more in control. And I think it's been a really nice doula job if you can call it that. I think we'll, we'll keep in touch. We'll send Christmas cards and photographs and emails. You've got a friend for life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>